Hey NVIDIA and TikTok viewers, this is the Chan Clan with a important public service announcement on NVIDIA Broadcast. Uh, this is the newest app that NVIDIA released that allows hardware acceleration for your live video, which has been very helpful. It actually has good background removal, good noise cancellation, and was featured in its recent driver updates as well as its press release. Now here's the downside of this process, which I actually use for my WebEx uh, meetings. However, when you throw this in the background or close out of this, apparently close out, it actually sits inside of your background processes. And one thing I noticed ever since I started using broadcast is that my idle temperatures on my GPU always are at about 60 Celsius, all right? And I noticed that my GPU clock is always running at full boost at, you know, 1785. Power usage, 121 watts. Afterburner shows the same thing. So I was like curious, why am I always idling at 60? It's because my boost is always on. Now, if you look at our utilization on the desktop, really nothing, there's no games going on, and uh, you know, I have, I have no processes apparently running. And this is how my desktop's been sitting at nighttime as I do backups overnight. And uh, it just bewildered me why I, I do get some fan noise and the, the GPU is spinning. Now, if you look at our GPU utilization here, minimal utilization, but the only thing is NVIDIA broadcast. So what's going on is NVIDIA Broadcast is running the clock speeds at full speed, even though we're not doing anything graphically right now, and it is running our GPU. So killing this process, closing, closing this, look, it's not in my system tray. It is only here, all the way down here, NVIDIA Broadcast is still running in the background. So right-clicking this, quitting this, or killing the process through Task Manager. So I'm just going to show you quitting this. It's overblown here. You can't really see this. There you go. Barely make it out. So we're going to quit it. It kills the process. So process is now gone. GPU is gone. Okay. Look at the clock speeds. Clock speeds drop down to 210. And instantly, my GPU temperature is coming down because the GPU clock went down to 210. GPU power is now 39 watts. And then within a couple of minutes, we're going to recover down to the 40s here. So this is a huge ramification for uh, many users who might be using the latest GPU updates. Uh, I'm sorry, the driver updates with NVIDIA Broadcast because it is a cool tool. I've been using XSplit otherwise, and that's a paid uh, software package. NVIDIA Broadcast does the same, but this vampiric power draw and vampiric use of the GPU clock is sure to not only be power inefficient, it's going to run up your electricity bill. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody built a Bitcoin miner into into the uh, NVIDIA broadcast app. Um, but it's also going to kill your, your graphics card uh, or shorten the life thereof uh, because this is going to be running it basically at full clock, even in an idle background process, which is basically a waste of electricity, honestly, and waste of silicon. Uh, over time. So you'll notice that this recovers. Uh, we're at 51 down from 60 already. Uh, and I think uh, the thermal curve here actually, when it drops down to four, about 45, the fan speeds will actually turn off. So if you are wondering why your GPU, especially your new 30 series, is humming around at nighttime or uh, running hot and your case is just blowing off hot air, uh, check if NVIDIA Broadcast is your culprit here because NVIDIA Broadcast may be the reason why you are noticing these uh, clock speeds always revved up to full boost and uh, that you're giving off more heat. So we're recovering down to about 40 now. And again, I think my idle temperature is going to hit about 45, which is the, the target spec here. And once it gets down to about 45, the fans will actually uh, drop down to zero, uh, which is the uh, silent mode of the Gaming X Trio, which we have uh, that we unboxed. So. I think this is a huge potential uh, for an update by NVIDIA. 
is a simple software fix. If there's no active client using NVIDIA Broadcast, throttle down the GPU, save our GPUs, uh, save our electricity bills, uh, save our, uh, our heater. Uh, this reminds me of Bitcoin mining back in the day where, you know, we ran uh, our GPUs at full clock, full speed, 24-7, and there was a notable difference in the temperature in the room in the morning just because, uh, you know, of all the heat that was generated here. So again, um, this is just taking some time to recover, but you'll see that we are approaching that 45 spec and at about 45 degrees the fans should turn off to the silent mode so let's see if that happens here just like you know our, our um, video card is designed for here so still winding down and as a final demonstration here just to prove the point I'm going to relaunch broadcast not even to open up a web client or a web app to uh, run the video card. Okay, we've hit 45, uh, 46. Our fans are still still running slowly, but certainly not as, as high as before. But anyways, this is the target temperature that we want to get to idle. It should be in the 40 to 50 range. Okay. Um, again, let's pull up broadcast. So we're going to just launch broadcast right there. NVIDIA broadcast instantly 1785 full core, uh, full clock speeds. Okay. Haven't been running this thing. This is just in the background tray. I'm even going to exit out maintaining full clock speeds here. Okay. GP utilization. And we are starting to climb our, our temperature curve again. So, more of the story is if you're using NVIDIA Broadcast, which is a nice uh, iteration of new tools that NVIDIA has released to us, please be sure when you're not using your camera to kill the process, go to Task Manager, End Task, or just go to your system tray, uh, and then right-click on the app icon and quit it. Because only when you quit it do your fan speeds right here drop back down to an idle process. So, uh, well, actually, I just tried to kill it and it didn't. Interesting. So I killed the process and it actually kept the fan speeds uh, elevated here. So you may have to just quit, quit the app entirely here. Yes, you have to right click on the tray and quit it. Killing the process, I think still leaves the NVIDIA share process or, or something uh, that runs that uh, fan speed. So again, more of the story is go down to the bottom right into your uh, system tray, find the icon, right click on it, quit the application because your fan speeds otherwise will be running on full. Hopefully this is helpful for some of you guys who might notice some ambient temperature, ambient noise, uh, ambient heat coming from your 30 series and are running NVIDIA broadcast, this is the culprit.